Hey everybody, so today we're just going to be installing a graphics card. It's a pretty simple graphics card, you know, nothing too out of the ordinary. We got one here, it's, it's really nice. And this one, it's actually really nice. So I'm just kidding about the ordinary one. But, anyways, just to be doing a graphics card at this point is a big deal anyway because of how hard it is at this point in time as of uh, uploading this video how hard it is to actually get a graphics card in particular so a client actually brought one of these in and we're just going to be installing this this is the, the nvidia rtx 3090 it's a founders edition he has a pretty nice case here it's the lee and lee mesh too cool we're going to be installing it in there it's a really nice case i'll just kind of show you how to install it and how to do it correctly so you want to take your card any card that you really have here. Um, it's very important to unplug everything. Make sure everything is unplugged. Um, if you recently did unplug something, you definitely want to make sure you hold down the power button for at least 10 to 15 seconds just to cycle all the, the power out of it. Sometimes you'll even see lights still on when you are um, even shutting it off. You might see a few lights on because the power is still in there. So always want to make sure if you recently did that, make sure you power cycle it. At least you can match it up with your card and see how many slots it's going to do. Look at so this is <laughs> this is almost as big as the case, and it's bigger than the motherboard itself. There, so we're gonna put it here, and it's gonna go not even the top slot. So it looks like it's gonna take over three different slots at least for the screw holes here. Um, and what you want to do, you, you always want to check your your motherboard um, manual just to see which port is the most optimal because some ports are actually a little bit different than others. Um, like most of the time, the top port is the one that you want to put it into because it has the most bandwidth. Um, sometimes uh, these can share bandwidth or they're, they're usually the second one could be a little bit less. Depends on the board. We have a Z370 uh, board so we should be totally fine and it. it's not really it should be the same exact bandwidth but I'm always gonna put it on the top because that's just where I like to put it and it's gonna be the best for air circulation regardless. You don't want to suffocate it more on the bottom here um, for anything. Um, so you definitely don't want to do anything like that. Um, the next thing you want to do is you want to make sure you have the right power supply. Definitely try to get like a, a very nice power supply. You don't want a cheap, especially if you have um, one of the RTX cards, you want to at least get try, try to go for 850 watt if you can, if you want to get like a 3070 and above. You want to get at least like a gold 80 plus rating or you can get a platinum one. I would suggest always get the best one you can because you don't want to cheap out on a power supply and you have a very expensive uh, graphics card that's going to possibly short because of that or have any issues because of that. Um, so get the best one that you can. Uh, there's a lot of good brands you can get. You can get like EVGA Supernovas. You can get Seasonic. They're really good. Or Superflower makes really good ones. Um, just get the best that you can. So, okay. So we can take out these three. And hopefully that'll be enough. Okay, so you want to be really careful. You always want to make sure that the latch down here is down. Oh, you can see if I lift it. Let's go lift it here. Yeah. You hear that click noise? So you want to make sure it's in the down position. Then you want to make sure you fit it exactly how it's supposed to go. It should go straight down. It should be very, very minimal force for it. And most of the time you'll hear a click just like that. So if you hear that click, that means you're pretty good and it's going to be stationary. Um, what you also want to do is uh, make sure that the flap is up on it so it's holding it in. Um, that click, usually that's what it means anyway. So it looks good. You can see it's a little bit wobbly here because we need to screw it in. You definitely want to screw in this card, believe me. And so far it looks good here. It doesn't look like it's going to uh, sag or anything, but again, until you put force, until we lift it up and put force, we want to make sure it's not going to sag or anything like that because that's just something to always uh, concern yourself about. You always want to make sure for sizes that um, you get the right size for your case. These new RTX cards don't allow for smaller cases to be um, to be made easy for these graphics cards to put in, especially the Founders Edition and the 3070s and above are very big cards. Um, anything else like a 1650 Super or any of the Super cards, uh, the last generation, you should be probably okay. You should always just double check just in case because there's no reason if you're going to spend money on especially one of the graphics cards nowadays that uh, you can't fit it in your case. That wouldn't be a very good thing. So you can see here that the power supply is, is actually here. I definitely wouldn't recommend trying to stick this thing inside the power supply because it's not going to work. It's a very specific adapter that you need, um, especially for the founders one. So what you want to do is you'll, ha you'll see this adapter comes in the box. You don't have to worry about it. Some of the aftermarket cards don't actually require this, or I don't think any of them do. I think this is just the NVIDIA 
um, version of it. I do know there's an MSI power supply coming out that's going to just natively support it. So you can just plug it in, which is pretty cool. And you don't even need an adapter. So you can see that it's here. You want to make sure we plug these in correctly. And always a trick with these, you always see there's always little latches here. You want to make sure that you put these in uh, very straight and perfect and just line up and click. And there shouldn't be any pull from there. So you want to make sure, again, you line it up. There's usually a little latch here. You just want to make sure it's lined up perfectly. And then you, you can go from top down if you have trouble. I wouldn't try going from the bottom down because you're going to have trouble pushing it in. It should match up perfectly like this, and it should go in. It's like that. And if you might want to double check, because if you have one of these loose connections, it's not going to power on the, the card. So, okay. Now, this goes to this very slim adapter. This is the new 12-pin. Uh, so, make sure it looks good. Okay. So, this will just go through the top. I would hope they would make it this way <laughs> and not flipped on the bottom, because it's already enough cables as it is. It clicks in there just like that. Now it does look kind of nasty, especially in this in this nice case. And there's not a whole lot you can really do about it. That's just the way it is. That's the only thing is, and they never market it. You'll never see it. But this little nasty adapter in there just adds more cables. Um, there shouldn't be any wobble. This is things looks pretty good, huh? I guess three screws are really going to hold it in well. So maybe the sac the bracket isn't really necessary on it. So it does feel very strong. And I'm going to go lift it up. I'll show you guys after we're done. I'll, I'll tilt the camera over and I'll show you how it's going to look once we've totally finished with it. But this is a really important step. A lot of people do skip. And I mean, it's not 100% necessary, but if you want to make sure that nothing's going to go wrong um, with your card, you want to do this step. That's going to be install the driver. Let's just go over head to that and I'll show you guys how to just do that real quick. All right. So what you want to do is you want to go to the, the page of the manufacturer, whoever that might be. If you have an AMD card, you can also go to the AMD page. And you want to make sure you download it from the actual driver's website. It's just to do that here. So when you do that, you want to make sure that you select your product type. And uh, most of the ones you're going to see are going to be GeForce. It's not NVIDIA, RTX, or Quadro. It's a little bit confusing because the, the branding is still actually um, GeForce branding. It's just the GeForce RTX. So NVIDIA and RTX and Quadro are more of the workstation cards, so you don't want to do that. Most of the ones you're going to see is GeForce here. And whenever you select it, then you want to go to whatever that you have here. And you see there's a big list. So we're going to go to the 30 series because we have that. And you're going to see a 3090. And you want to go to the make sure whatever Windows operating system that you have. And you want to go download type. You can normally leave this alone because you want the game ready driver. There are certain instances where there are studio drivers for it. Um, if you're doing more for games, it's better to go game ready driver because they're optimized for games. And um, certain ones that come out, especially big AAA releases, they're going to always have a, a new game ready driver within a few weeks or just for that game in particular. So you're just going to kind of leave it the way it is. And then you'll hit search. And then you'll find the latest one. And then you can hit download. And then it'll, it'll pop up. When you get to this point, um, you can check, check one of these two boxes. Um, I prefer just going with NVIDIA graphics driver. The GeForce experience is more of like, um, it's a whole system software that you have involved with it. And it's like if you, you can have an account and then you can set up different, um, it's just different softwares. You can put like Shadow Play and like all this other stuff. And sometimes they have games that go for with it. They have a GeForce, um, I, I think it's called GeForce Now. It's, it's the thing that you can play for the cloud cloud-based and there's all this other stuff and it, it does do your software automatically if you ever wanted to just install updates for the drivers but I always recommend just doing this again if you have to just to get the driver so I would just go with the NVIDIA graphics driver for that and hit accept and what the custom is going to do is you can just install the the types of drivers that you want um, once you do that then I would just recommend just hitting the NVIDIA driver and then uh, just let it install and then you should be all good to go and here's the finished product you can see there's actually no sag at all looks like it's thanks to those three screws that we actually did plug in here, which is good. You want to make sure that you are holding up stuff. This is very important. It's a very heavy and it's a very thick card. Um, so you want to make sure that this is totally screwed in right. You don't want to over tighten anything, but just make sure it's very solid. So even when you lift it or anything like this, there's no much, there isn't much movement there. So that's a good thing. Um, most of the times, if you get a bracket on like the third party cards, you might have to use another um, slot here and then it'll hold it up. It'll push stuff up. Um, you'll also see maybe if you look this up a little bit for some people who do get newer graphics cards and older um, boards that they might need to have something to actually lift here. They might have like a figurine or something like that supporting this so it lifts up because what it's going to do is if you don't put this in completely right 
it can sag down on here because the weight is distributed. Mostly it's being held in by there and it's being held in, in the back here. But this part, if it's a little bit top heavy, it can droop a little bit there. And you don't want to do that, especially for long term. So again, this is the completed product. Make sure you download all your drivers, install them, everything. And you have, there's not much you can really do about this connection. Um, that's just the adapter here. It's really ugly. It's <laughs> such a shame that they just have the, these two adapters here and you have your beautiful case, tempered glass, and you still have to look at that. But anyways, it's what you have to deal with for now. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Please leave a like down below. It really does help us a lot. Um, please hit that notification bell because sometimes Google doesn't actually put um, our videos once they come out into your um, subscription folder. So it's just a good way to know when we do upload and uh, see our videos as well. We really do appreciate you guys. And uh, any of the equipment that you see, uh, we do have them located in the description below for any parts or anything too. Um, yep. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you found it very helpful and have a good one.